Hello everybody, it's Mr. Pugdog here, otherwise known as Puglo Escobar, and today we're going to take a look at doing the Felisa job, which is the final heist in this series of heists given to us by Lester that can be accessed through the high-end apartments. Okay, now one of the benefits about this particular mission is that it can be carried out by only two individuals. You will need a driver and a driller and... There we go. Now, once you have selected the particular role that you wish to play, you are then obliged to choose an outfit and select a vehicle for the duration of the mission, although this will largely be entirely inconsequential. I don't know why there was a door behind that other door, but there was if you go back and look. Okay, now once you begin the mission, you shall spawn outside of the apartment as one tends to do at the beginnings of these particular missions. Once you have done so, all that remains is for you to locate the vehicle to travel to the destination, and on this occasion it appears that we shall be utilizing a golden Batmobile, a rather decadent form of transport if I do say so myself. Okay. Now, this particular stage of the mission is rather easy. All that we really need to do is to drive down to the location described, and so we shall cut ahead a little bit here so we can speed things along somewhat. Okay, now we're approaching the destination. You may remember it from the end of the other video, and we shall be relocating the armored Karuma to serve as a sum assistance during this particular mission. Okay, there it is, underneath the bridge where we last left it. Now I shall climb inside the armored Karuma and we shall commence with the second stage of this mission. Now, during this particular phase of the operation, all that is required from the driver is simply to navigate the armored Karuma to the location of the Felisa Bank, whilst the driller, or the passenger, will need to utilize a hacking program in order to circumvent the security systems of the bank in question. And, as you can see, it really is rather easy. Oh dear. Whoops a daisies. It is perhaps worth mentioning at this stage that there are in fact three separate panels that one needs to hack in order to complete this stage of the operation, and once one has done so, one will be greeted by the hideous laughing face of Lester in a digital form. Now then, at this stage, hopefully your driver will have arrived at the Felisa Bank and won't have been sat around for four or five minutes waiting for you to complete the final hack. At this stage, it is required of the driller to initiate the security bridge via an application on their phone, and from this point forward, all that really remains is to actually rob the bank itself. Yes, it is a robbery. Okay then, at this stage, the driver is required to control the customers in the bank through the use of machine gun fire, whilst the driller goes through to the back room to locate the security deposit in question. At this point, it is required to remove the equipment from the bag and apply the head of the drill to the safety deposit box in question, in order to compromise the integrity of the lock. Now, one will need to activate the drill and apply a certain amount of consistent pressure in order to break through the different levels of the lock, and I shall leave the last section here as an indication of the pace at which one should proceed. Okay, now once the box has been compromised, the driller will need to remove the contents and then rejoin his acquaintance in the bank. However, if the driver is thinking ahead, he should leave the bank at this point here and go and get into the car and start it up ready for the driller, as my good friend has here. Okay then, now as you can see, he's sat inside the car there and waiting for me, so I simply get inside the car, and now it's all down to the driver for him to negotiate this particular stretch of road, avoid any law enforcement officers that he may see along the route, and oh, oh dear, that copper copped it, didn't he? Oh dear. Oh well, never mind. Okay, we've got another lot here, let's see what happens this time. Oh hey, another one went flying. Well, that really does make me smile. And they say pigs can't fly, you know. Anyway, now then, let's drive on down this road a little bit further, and we really are approaching the end of the mission. There are a few more twists and turns to get around, and then we shall come across a bridge, and there goes another policeman. Okay, then, now we have one more corner, and we are approaching the bridge here. The driver is doing a rather good job, I have to say. 
And it may have come to your attention that some way down the bridge there, there is a cargo bob hovering with a giant magnet dangling from beneath it. And all that we have to do from this point forward is to line up the Karuma beneath the magnet and we shall be transported away to safety in an entirely realistic manner. There we go. Just like every bank robbery ends in the real world. And I'm sure you can agree that this really is quite a fun and easy mission and a good way to earn a little bit of spending cash. Although, to be honest, not that much. Can you show it to me? Yes, it is the holiday season at the Crest Residence, and Daddy's out drinking. <laughs> Say, past. If that thing I talked about comes up, I'll call you in. In the meantime, if anyone comes to me, I'll mention you as a reliable pair of hands. Hey! First time that wasn't bad, but don't get clingy. Oh, Lester. And there we go. Sixty four thousand dollars, give or take a little bit of change. Not a great deal of money, but still. A worthwhile objective if you fancy killing a few minutes with a friend online. After all, it is only a two-man heist, and so, if you don't have a full squad with you, it's a good way to have a little bit of fun and earn a little bit of spending cash. Although myself, I would never undertake the mission again in a thousand years.